What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon X and Y hints and tips series. Okay, so in our last episode we took a look at a method of getting money and experience pretty easy with Luminous City's Restaurant Luau, which is a three-star restaurant that you could go battle in by paying a hundred thousand. So basically I just went through and showed just basically how much money you could walk out with for just going through once and then basically how much experience you could walk out in just a double battle. Now one thing I did not mention in the last episode was um, the triple battle because I didn't actually do a triple battle before recording that video but I have done a few triple battles since recording that video and I actually do recommend the triple battle over the double battle if you're doing it mainly for the experience. Mainly because in the second battle in the triple battle the trainer uses an Ordino. Now if anyone doesn't know an Ordino gives out a heck of a lot of experience. Um, without any O power on a trainer, um, experience, oh, lucky egg, um, well the Pokemon has to have lucky egg because that's where you get the most um, experience and at the same time that Pokemon holding lucky egg must be on the field or at least been on the field. Um, but anyways, lucky egg with Ordino gives out about 7,000 experience which is a hell of a lot of experience even for a slow level up Pokemon. Um, I think I went through with Dratini on it, it was about level 25 I think it was, it still grew 3 levels with it which is fantastic for Dratini since it is a slow level Pokemon. Um, with level 2 experience O power, I will admit though that does give out 11,000 experience which is, oh my god that is heaven for experience. Um, that's really a big big boost in experience. So yeah. Um, I definitely do recommend triple battles over double battles if you're doing it for experience. If you're doing it for just money, I definitely do recommend the double battles just to knock it down a lot quicker and you just get through a lot easier and do it a lot more times, whereas triple battles are a little bit more tedious as the third poke tends to use protect on the first go. Anyways, um, in this episode, um, a lot of people will probably figure out what I'm doing in this episode given it's already on screen. Yes, we're hunting down, uh, well, I'm actually going to give a method that I use to be able to hunt down the legendary birds um, so you could see them in Sea Spirit Den. So for those who don't know, um, the three legendary birds will roam around the Kalos region once you've beaten your League 4. Now to which legendary bird that you'll have on your game really depends on your starter Pokemon. So I chose Chespin in this version of my game, so I'm going to obviously get Articuno. If you start with Fennekin, you'll get Zapdos, and Froakie, you'll get Moltres. So, in... Oh, excuse me, I had a bit of soft drink before I started recording. It's really starting to kick up on me. But, anyways, um, Pim Knight and myself have already covered Moltres and Zapdos in our Pokemon X and Y walkthrough, and we'll definitely cover Articuno as well, but before we do that, I thought I'd do a quick little method on how to find them a lot easier, because... As we've mentioned in those walkthrough parts, you need to see the Pokemon a total of 11 times before it actually appears in Sea Spirit Den in Azura Bay. So I will admit I have seen Articuno twice before recording. They were both by accident. So um, obviously to locate Articuno the first time around, it is really all based on luck. Um, I will admit I did luck out a lot with Articuno. I actually just finished the game and I actually went to go do some fishing and believe it or not, the first patch of grass I walked into and bang, there it is, Articuno. I'm like, what the hell? Um, that was found a lot easy. And then as for Zapdos, I think I was just stumbling around training as well and that just came, came across. Whereas Moltres, we were actually doing a walkthrough part going to do Zygarde and that popped up as well. I actually think the first encounter is the easiest. Um, out of all the 11 encounters. It just seems to get really hard when you're starting to get near the end. But anyways, um, this is my third encounter and I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes trying to get it to a spot where I can start this video. Alrighty, so, oops, um, I should probably mention where it is at the moment. So, as I mentioned, I did spend about 10 minutes before recording this, well, start recording, to be able to get um, Articuno around the Illuminous and at the moment it's sitting on Route 16 which is the fisherman spot. So I'm sit sitting in North Boulevard of Luminous City so it's pretty easy for me. I can just ride my bicycle there and basically just hopefully bang straight into it. So I'll just show my party. I've got Heliolisk as my starting Pokemon, or was my League Pokemon which is at level 50 and of course my Staraptor who's going to act as my flying Pokemon in basically this episode. 
So the first thing you want to do is, once you've got the birds somewhere close to you, is you want to go grab some max repels. Oh wait, I'm going from most. Work on a max repel and make sure the lead Pokemon in your party is level 69 or lower as Articuno appears at level 70. So if you've got a Pokemon about level 70 or above, Articuno probably won't show. But 69 and lower will definitely guarantee that you'll see Articuno or no other wild Pokemon. So just from Luminous City there, I'm just going to head on to Route 16. Before I go any further though, I am going to check my Pokedex again just to make sure this little bitch hasn't moved. It is prone to move every now and again, you know, it is kind of almost guaranteed you'll get it and it moved. It's now on Route 15. You had to move. Oh boy. So there is a chance that that will happen. It's very, very rare that it actually happens like that because I did start at North Boulevard. It was on Route 16. Usually you've got a good chance of finding it. But anyways, if that does happen and you miss out, just fly back to your city with multiple exits or entrances. I tend to use Luminous City the most, seeing how it does have five entrances or exits, depending on how you look at it. Um, I go from North Boulevard, as that's got three exits, over South Boulevard, which only has two. So once you've flown back to your city, you're going to reset um, Articuno's location. This could take another freaking ten minutes before I find it again. But anyways, once you're back there, just bring your Pokedex up and see where it is. At the moment, it's sitting on Route 22 for me. So another place you could probably use is Sandalone City that does have three exits or three entrances to it. So that is another great spot to actually fly to if you're trying to hunt down your legendary bird. So I do know it does appear on Route 3 quite commonly for me. Route 14 is also another common place for me. Route 16 is another one that does pop up now and again and so is Route 4 I think it is as well. Alright, so basically I've thrown back to North Boulevard. Gonna check my Pokédex yet again, just to see where it is. Route 16 again. We should be able to get it this time. So I've got my, no my Max Repel on as well, so that's one less thing I have to do. Let's jump on my bike and let's ride like the wind to Route 16. Hopefully it doesn't move this time, so I can at least show you what the whole encounter thing looks like. Um, it's definitely made well clear when you found Articuno as well. It's definitely got a different wild, oh, found wild encounter animation like all the others. As per usual, I'm going to check my Pokedex again because there's nothing worse getting to a route, searching for about 10 minutes and going, oh, it's not here. Oh, it's moved again. My god! I'm not getting very lucky. Usually it stays in one spot. But I'm starting to figure Articuno is a little bit stubborner than the other two birds. The other two birds really made this look a lot easier. So anyways, let's fly back to Luminous City and let's have another crack at this. Right, so we're back at Luminous. Check our Pokedex again. This time it's sitting at Route 21. Oh no, yeah, Route 21, just before Victory Road. So again, we're just going to fly back to North Boulevard, basically the same spot. If it doesn't work in a couple of tries, I'm going to try another location to see if that works. And if not, I'll probably end up muting this, and then I'll probably just have it on fast forward, so you can just see the whole slow process of trying to find this. Right, so Pokedex... Back on Articuno, and it's back on Route 22. Alright, so I'm probably going to make a risky move and fly to Central and City, because it seems to be popping up there quite a lot. Anyway, watch, I fly down Santa Luna or just fly near Luminous again, which is really going to bug me. Alright, so we're gonna start going to try Santa Luna. Another interesting spot to try would be Dendermill Town, because that's got another three exits there. This, this music reminds me of Mario Party 2, actually. Anyway, just a random fact there. Alright, so Pokedex. Alrighty, so it's on Route 4, so that was an excellent fly. So usually you can sometimes predict where it's going to um, go to next after um, its location. So that was on Route 22 before I flew to Santa Luna. It's now made its way to Route 4. Hopefully this thing has not moved this time and I can 
find it at least. If not our rage. Yes, it's still on Route 4. Yes! Oh yeah, now let's see it. Now I can actually show the encounter thing. There we are. So when you do find out Kino, you'll get this flash of light along with a diff very different um, animation for it. So as I said, it stands at level 70, and as soon as you see it, it's going to flee. So even if you did have a Pokemon with Shadow Tag, that is not going to stop it from fleeing. So the Wild Anakuno fled. So let's take a look at our Pokedex, and let's try and predict where it's going to fly to next. So as I did mention, Luminous, Santalone City, and I'm pretty sure Dendermill Town are the two greatest places to do it. Yep, Dendermill Town. Because that goes on to Route 17, Route 16, and Route 15. Luminous is a great one because it's got Route 14, Route 16, Route 13, Route 5, and Route 4 on it. And Santaline, which has Route 4, Route 3, and Route 22 coming from it. And another good place to do it would probably be Snowbell City, which goes on to Route 21, then down to Route 20, as well as Route 19 as well. So those spots are probably the best place to go flying from, and probably can for your town as well, because... Oh wait, Route 6 has got no grass on it. The only way to get that is from Perfume Palace. Um... Silage... Maybe Silage? I don't know. I'd be going from Luminous, Santaloon, Dendermill, and Snowbell City. Alright, so it's either going to go to Luminous or somewhere near Denmill. I'm actually going to try and risk it and actually fly to North Boulevard of Luminous. Alright, let's see if we can go for encounter number two in this video before I have to mute and fast forward. Alright, so we just found the North Boulevard of Luminous. As I said, it's got three exits in it, so it does make it a little bit easier to get to the bird. Let's check the Pokedex entry again. And no, it's gone to South Boulevard. That's okay. It's gone to Route 5. So we need to head to South Boulevard. So that was a pretty decent guess. Hopefully by the time I get to Route 5, it's still there. Sometimes you can luck out and it's still there. Other times it does get a little bit picky and fly away. Alright, so I'm going to quickly ride my bike over to Route 5 in South Boulevard. So there's South Boulevard, and it'll be the first exit we come across. So just keep it those Max Repels on, or Super Repels, or whatever you're using. I do prefer Max Repels, more steps, but Super Repels are definitely more value-wise. They are cheaper, and you actually do get more steps out of it. So first thing is per usual, I'm going to check my Pokédex. Come on... No, it's in Route 14. Oh, you little bum. I may not actually make it back there in time. Must have just moved. Alright, I'm going to try and get there. I'll actually double check the Pokédex when I get into Luminous. It may have moved again. That's the only problem with Articuno and any legendary bird. It really is unpredictable. It may stay there, it may not. Okay, it looks promising. We're still in Route 14. Right, so I'm going to quickly ride my bike back to North Boulevard. Hopefully by the time I get to North Boulevard, it's still there as well. I'm actually just really cautious because there is a few exits you've got to go through to get to North Boulevard. So it could move in between here. So I'm just being over cautious. So I'm just going to double check the Pokédex. It's still on Route 14. This is very interesting. So the first exit is 13, which leads to the Badlands. So we want 14, which should be in the middle. That should be this one. Yep, 14. So hopefully by the time we get to Route 14, it's still there, and that'll be great if it is, because that's not very often that happens. Come on, come on, Lady Luck be on my side. Yes, it is. Oh my god, Lady Luck loves me tonight. It's still on Route 14, which is fantastic. So we want the first patch of grass that we see. Ta-da! Okay, this is our second encounter. So that is encounter four in total. 
So while Articuno appeared, out comes Helio Tears, and of course, it's gonna run away. So bye bye Articuno. Ah, parting is such sweet sorrow. I will see you in about another seven encounters. All right. So I'll probably do like one more on screen and then I'll probably just end up speeding up the video just to show you the rest of the video and this whole- oh shigas, we are down there. You can either go- well it's on Route 7, you can either go to Route 6 or Route 5, sorry. Or it can go up to Route 10, down near Silage. Oh, this is a really hard decision what to do. Hmm, I might actually fly to Luminous City again. And just chance it there and it goes back. Ooh. Um, Star Raptor fly. Ooh, I might go South Boulevard this time. Kind of mixed up between South and North. It's probably the best advice I could do. Alright, so we're in South Boulevard this time. So hopefully Articuno is somewhere close or at least in North Boulevard. That, I wouldn't mind too much. No, it's down around 22 at the moment, so that's down near Santalone. Now, I could risk it and always... Well, I'm actually tempted to try something. I might actually ride on to Route 4 and hopefully Articuno will move its way to Route 4 as well. Or, I could probably sneak my way over to Route 22. That sometimes can work, because we did luck out with that one on Route 14, which was the last time we saw it. So I was going to keep an eye on its progress as well by checking the Pokedex. Where are you at the moment? You're still on Route 22, so... Hopefully I can get it again. This could be really, really lucky or really, really bad. Oh, great. I haven't battled this trainer. Oh, well. Let's take down this little girl. It won't be that hard. Bidu. Wow. I'm going to get defeated by Bidu. Right, out comes my Helio t Heliolisk. And I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch on it. Anything really is going to kill this. Dead. So really not much experience there was gained. Whew, I thought I'd better run on that route. Obviously not. Shows how much I was rushing through. Alright, so hopefully that didn't affect its location. I will scream if it did. Right, we're in Santaloon City. I'm just going to make my just in front of Route 22. Just double check the Pokedex. It may or may not have moved. Oh, wow. It's on the other side of the map now. God damn it. Right. Well, the best bet I've got is to probably fly to Luminous City and go north. And it may pop up somewhere close. Alright, so Luminous City, North Boulevard. Okay, it's on Route 15, so it either could go any way there. So I might fly to Dendermill City, see where it pops up to there. So just going to check the Pokedex one more time. And it's down the Luminous. Go figure. Alright, so... Well, that's basically the method that I use to find Articuno. It does take a lot of patience and a lot of luck. Probably a mixture of those two. But um, that's basically all I have to say on finding the lo legendary birds. So as I mentioned... They do appear at level 70, so using a Pokemon at level 69 or lower while using Max Repels is probably the easiest way to find them so you don't bump into other wild Pokemon in the process. Um, going to cities like Dendermill, Snowbell, Luminous and Santaloon with multiple exits are three 
for those cities except for Luminous who has five, um, three in North Boulevard, two in South, are definitely the best way to go. So you can keep flying to those and you've got a best chance of finding them in either one of those routes closest by. So obviously every time you fly it resets the location of the legendary bird. Um, there is any more I have to really say, except I do have to emphasize you do need to see it 11 times in total in the wild before it does appear for you to catch. So for the remainder of this video, whether whether or you want to or not, you can stick around for this, but I'm basically going to be muting my voice and I'll have the video sped up, just showing you the remaining of the encounters I have with Articuno. Who knows how long it's going to take me, it's been taking me 20 minutes already, I've only seen it twice, bringing me up to 4 encounters in total. As I did mention, I've seen it twice already before recording this segment. So, um, they're basically my final words, so um, basically... I'll just wrap this episode now, up now with my little speech and I'll just leave you with the remainder of the encounters. So in the next episode, I think I may be covering IV breeding. I think, I think. I don't have any other plans at the moment on anything major. Um, I could either cover IV breeding or EV training with super training. Um, I would cover hordes, but I don't have the power items at the moment. I do have Pokey Rust, but I don't have the power items. But yeah, um, it's probably on one of those topics will be next in this Hints and, Hints and Tips series. So, as I said, the remainder of this video will be just a sped up version of what I've done for 20 minutes. So, until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!
Okay, so for those who have stuck around for this entire video, I'm going to leave one final message. The bird... F oh, sugar's not Snorlax. I finally got that damn bird over at Sea Spirit's Den. It's taken me 52 minutes to encounter it nine times. Oh my god, that was tedious. So as you would have seen, I would have cut out a lot of parts of this video, but overall it did take me 52 minutes to find it. I probably would have shot it down a lot quicker than that. But yeah, um, for those people who are still sane after doing this, I salute you. Uh, that is quite tedious to go through that for so long and find that thing 11 times, well 10 times, without encountering the first random encounter. But for those who did have trouble finding this thing, my feels do go out to you. This thing is really, really annoying and hard to do. And it is a big sigh of relief when it finally gets a sea spirit den. So, but yeah, um, for those who did stick around the entire video, my salutes and thanks go out to you all. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, people.